thrift every Saturday night and we show you the junk that we thrifted and we tell you what we paid and what we're gonna sell it for and you can shop everything you see on our website at jrvhome.com um, and the collection is listed as Saturday Night Thrift Hall. Ivy's on here tonight. She's gonna be dropping links while we're talking. Um, Caitlin isn't feeling well, so Ivy is uh, graciously decided to help us out. So thanks Ivy for being here. If you like thrift hauls and junk and all kinds of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button um, because we go live every Saturday, rain or shine. Yep. 8.30, we are here. Or this 8.35 is, today. So this is our 146th Saturday thrift haul. We're lot. coming up on 150. They we should do some sort of celebration. We we're going to celebrate it at 100 and we forgot. Is that a sesquicentennial? No, bicentennial? I don't know. I, I don't. I, we got into this the last live and I can't remember. We can't already. figure it out. But here's the situation. We have evolved over the years. So it would be fun to like look back at like all the different thrift halls. <laughs> like the way it started. We used to not sell online at all. And then Caitlin would get emails and people would ask to buy stuff. And so that's why we started listing it online. Because we also have a store. Yeah. Which is where everything that doesn't sell on Saturday night goes in the shop. Or a little vintage store, January Vintage, and people buy it, so it's fun. All right. Okay, can you guys see this all right? We've got this little canister here. It looks like it's some sort of bird. I want to vote hawk. It looks but... like a partridge to me. Okay, partridge. A hawk. It's, yeah. <coughs> it's too sleek to be a sparrow. Sparrows are fatter and rounder. I don't know. Do we got any pear trees around here? I don't know, but it is apothecary inside. Oh, super chat. Thanks, Heidi. She says, because she loves us. We love you too. Thank you, Heidi. We paid $2 for this um, covered dish. I don't know, apothecary dish. I can't even remember what I called it. It does have a little crazing in it, which makes it extra special. And we're going to sell it for $12.95. We are going to um, take a magic eraser to it because it's got some scuffs, but we can get all of those off with a magic eraser. All right, so this is the mother load thrift haul slash garage sale finds. Uh, you know, Mother's Day is We went tomorrow. to three thrift stores <laughs> and a really awesome yard sale. Yard sale was actually like the best deals of the last Thanks. month or so. Um, Kim said that she liked my cute shirt. So this shirt is new at JRV Home. Um, it, I can't remember the price. Do I still have a tag on it? I, I wrote the tag off. But um, anyways, it's new it, and all the clothes are free shipping. And I'm going to guess it's around twenty four ninety five because that's where a lot of the tops that have like the ruffly stuff are at. Yeah, and it comes with free shipping and it comes in the sage green color and black. And I like it because it's tight, like, you know, fits on the top, but it's flowy on the bottom. So <sighs> who doesn't need a bacon press? So we know. actually cook our bacon in the oven. But this is more for decor. Yeah. Um, so this is from the yard sale. So when we tell you yard sale, we can't really tell you prices because we bought everything. We filled up a wagon and then we had some stuff on the side and we're like, how much do you want for this? Because they didn't have anything priced yet. We got there before they were done pricing stuff and the gal was like, 45 bucks for all of it? I was like, <laughs> I have like way more money. I'm like, Jamie, like, give her the money. I started give running. Give her money and run. I started running to the truck. So we're going to say like, <laughs> it was, we probably paid like a buck an item because we quite easily had 45 yeah. items in there. So $14.95, we paid a buck. So this is a little older. Um, it's cast iron, so pr pretty cool deal here. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you these so I can get them out of my way. Kelly says, I love that Zeb knows how much the rougher type shirts are. Well, he does spend a lot of time. It is his shop too. People think it's just my store, but it is his store. Sometimes when he does, it doesn't want to do things at the shop, I have to remind him that it's our family store. It's my store when I'm shopping, but it's our store when it's, stuff it's, needs to be done. It's her shop when we've got to go to places like Round Top or, or do extra picking to fill it up. It's my shop if a uh, shelf needs built. <laughs> Christine says, I want to try the joggers, but I'm afraid they won't fit me. The joggers are like, I would say very much true to size and they're super comfy. So I was wearing them earlier, but I've had my gauchos on. So when we had these getting them from the store, when we got them, picked them up at the thrift store, we're like, ah, it's kind of rose goldy. It doesn't really look that great. But then we got them over where we take pictures of stuff. And they were, we're like, so Man, these, these look pretty good. Um, so, so I originally show you thought clothes. about painting them, but I really love the matte black. All the crystals are here. Um, and in the thrift store, they look kind of gross because it's really Now, when she says store. crystals, these may be plastic. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, they're probably not yeah. actual crystals. But anyways, they've got all of them. Usually they're missing. But anyways, 
Yeah, it's funny how when you take things out of a setting and you put them somewhere else, they look better. So we're selling the set for $124.95. They're big. You can They're see them here. I could like. You can see them in front of me here. I could I could hide behind these things if I didn't want to feel very social at a party. Everybody says they're glad I didn't paint them, and Threadalina says they're stunning. Once I got them home, I was like, I can't paint these. I photographed them. They look amazing, and they're gonna. I would say in a high end store, they'd probably be three hundred ish more dollars more, and they they are basically new condition. I don't think anybody ever used them. They no, were not they frying any bacon by them either because they're not greasy. No, nope, and they don't have any wax in them. Yeah, they said the bacon press is good for paninis. Oh. I know, now Zeb's like, and it's not Maybe for sale. Maybe now I need to keep it. <laughs> I love a good panini. Rave says very posh. Yes. And she would know, because she does home staging. Oh, yeah. I know, it's just... The, I, I could see something like that in some of her staging. Maybe in her warehouse. You got some of those in the warehouse. Maybe. Back. Oh, somebody just bought the ornaments. We can show those next. And they oh. bought the corbels from our video on Friday. Oh, those are over there. Yeah, I can show the... If we have time, we're all done. I'll show the things we finished. On Friday's video, I went ahead and put them in the thrift hall so they'd be easy to find. So these were sixteen ninety five. No, these are sixteen ninety five. I thought you said someone bought them. Oh yeah, but we paid a dollar fifty. Yeah. Oh yeah, we paid a dollar fifty each, so we paid three dollars, and we're selling for sixteen ninety five for the set of two, and they are complete sets in really great condition. And sixteen ninety five for two makes them like eight fifty a box, which is pretty great for vintage ornaments. I will buy these year round what blow i was just about to talk about that what blows my mind every week we find something kind of christmasy in the decor section or the holiday section at the thrift store every week we buy it and every week it's one of the first items to sell like people if they're if it's the one thing they've been looking for for their decor they scoop it up you know holidays are a big deal and if uh, if you need that one little thing that you've been wanting for lots of years don't miss out. If you see it at the thrift store, snag it. Kai says the baby lambs so cute. They are so sweet. And my kids are obsessed with them and we're getting used to them. We're, we're teaching, and what I love about them is they are teaching my kids to be calm because if you're crazy, they are not happy. But They're a little calm skittish. And you're quiet, they'll come up to you, especially if you've got, especially Han especially loves to eat. All Han does is eat and poop, and we're always rubbing his belly to get him to burp. Yeah, he gets gassy because he's eating that green <laughs> grass that's over there, and you know he's not—he's used to dry alfalfa, so he gets a little bloated, and we gotta just rub it, at, rub him on his sides, and he burps. <laughs> uh, Mama Bear Blue, those ornaments were pyramid. So shiny brights are probably the most popular, but yeah. pyramids also sell really, really well. Um, let's see. Oh, Mama Bear said she thrifted a fun bacon press with a pig on it. Nice. And B August says, I collect the metal memorial floral baskets. I was super excited. We'll show you guys those here in a minute. I've never seen them in the wild before. Okay, guys. So these are, they look identical, right? On camera, you can see the one in my left has just a slightly darker shade. So these were all in the same place. This one is Pyrex. The lighter? The darker, the darker. ones. Oh, okay. And this one is Corning. Corning. I believe Corning bought Pyrex out or the yeah, other way Corning around. Yeah, it just came first, the chicken and the egg. I think it was Pyrex. I think they're like, five of them are Pyrex, six of them are Corning, but they're definitely close enough to be a matching oh, set. Oh yeah, you can hardly tell unless you see it on camera like that right together. So we are selling this set for $28.95 and we, um, Bought them for 75 cents each. Some so it's of them like milk glass in here almost. Yeah, they are. And some of them have light scratching, but there's no dishwasher drying action. And Donna knows what that is. You don't do that with Pyrex. But these are awesome. And I just thought, I was thinking about selling them individually. I thought, you know what? Somebody might want these for a complete set. So, mm -hmm. oh, Leslie said for your church fund, I got a bonus this week. Thank well, you, thank Leslie. You, we Leslie. appreciate that. It means a lot to us because holy moly. I saw your post that in the church. Jamie Ray Vintage group, Leslie. Start it's time painting. to get painting your stuff. <laughs> We're gonna hold you accountable. Um, also, we got a new channel member that's up here. Oh, we did? Here. Oh, Linda Smith, welcome to channel membership. Oh, and Donna would like you to make a sheep emoji. A sheep emoji, we can, I can make, do that. We can use the, you already have the graphic for the fat sheep that's on our lotion bars. Oh, I do, yeah. So we could just convert that over to an emoji. Okay. I'll do that. Maybe right. I'll do that. I'm probably not going to do this that tonight. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. I have quite a bit of prep to do, and I've got some candy to freeze dry. Just hook that up tonight. Hey, at least you don't have to clean the house. The housekeepers did come on Friday. Yeah. We 
we didn't we didn't do it for a long time, but we've succumbed to the fact that we work like eighty hours a week. You've either got time or money, right? Which, <laughs> we which don't one really do you have want? either, but someone's <laughs> got to help. So our housekeepers are amazing. Yeah, what does what what happens when you don't have time and you don't have money? Does, how's uh, that? That was us four years ago. Remember the toilets? <laughs> Yes, I do remember. But the we worked hard, so we got to keep the house. Uh, I'm going to show these close to you. Can see so these the are etching. yard sales. So let's just say a buck a piece because we don't really know. We got these for the bundle deal. Um, they're etched juice glasses. They are beautiful. We're selling the set for sixteen ninety five for the set of four, and they are etched. They are not just like yep. frosted. They are etched glass, and they are so so pretty. Like you can't. The camera's not picking it up, but each there's like lines down each individual uh, petal here. Thanks, Frazier likes my shirt. It's new on the clothing, JRV closet. We actually, oh, Leslie, did you see that we got new plus size dresses? You asked for them and I ordered two. They're super soft and comfy, not tight. And I believe they have pockets and they're floral, but not overly large floral. So check those out. If you haven't been to see what's new on the clothes, cause those just came in along with these shirts. If you saw Monday's video, this is part of the uh, mountain thrift haul that thrift store up there that was half off everything in the whole store except for their displays um this... yeah so i bought very little and then she's like oh but it's half off i was like "Ooh, half off eyes now i'm re-shopping the whole store <laughs> so this is just a little pewter dish but i got it because i really love that it's got the four little round feet just great little uh jewelry dish it could even be used as a soap dish um, oh it would be a great soap dish it was a dollar fifty because it had a price tag for two bucks mm -hmm. and i had a price tag for Ten ninety five and a price is written three, so she gave it to us for um, three. A well, she gave it to us for three, but it was half off. Yep, so, so we got it for a dollar And then we're selling it for eight ninety five. Eight ninety five. Pewter is hot right now, guys. Like all metals, pewter, silver, copper, brass. Did I show this? I don't want to forget it. I actually forgot a couple things last <laughs> week that were over here in the pile of offloading, and I'm like, Jamie's like, oh, we didn't show this. I'm like. Well, it looks like it's sold anyway, so we're okay. <laughs> Joni said she loved our mountain thrifting video. Thank you, it was fun. We actually are going up. You guys don't miss Monday. We're gonna be going to Bountiful oh. um, to pick up an entertainment center that I bought for our living room, and we'll probably go thrifting while we're up there. Yeah, it should be should be lots of fun because we've only been waiting for three months, four months, five months, it's May, to uh, get an entertainment center up underneath there. And we're also <laughs> gonna show you our sheep in Monday's video. We've got some footage of that too. So excited for that. So $22.95 for this corporal shelf. It will get painted and waxed. And we paid half off of, so $2.50. That's how much it was. Yep. It's $22.95 is the price we've got. You said we're painting this and waxing it? Yeah, it needs to be painted and waxed. That's a big corporal shelf. Those always sell. You guys, yes. if you guys are resellers, do not pass these up. They're kind of dated like this, but with some paint and wax, they look amazing. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do the uh, our uh, our uh, faux stone finish? I don't know. We'll see what we get to. <laughs> our, our signature faux stone. Our faux stone. All right. So heart aluminum. These are actually really collectible. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can call them vintage, but they are from 1990, which is 31 years ago. Oh man, really? <laughs> yeah. I was looking at those. I was like, oh, they're not. Oh, they're 31 years old. You know what? 31 years ago, I was in fourth grade. The DI is closed on Monday, Denise. Shoot. It was actually Denise Shoop, so that's kind of funny to say shoot. We'll go to Goodwill and Salt Lake. We'll just go all the what's, way back. What's Monday? Um, some of the DIs have weird hours now because of COVID. Oh, yes. But we can, I have some of my favorite non-DI thrift stores, so I'll loop around and hit those. Uh, Vicky says, show us how to style those wall shelves. All right. I will try to find, the problem is I never have one to show you because they, they sell, sell. <laughs> but should one not sell, I will show you how to style it. Ivy says she was born in 1990. <laughs> All right. Since the majority of the people watching, <laughs> wait, I saw, did I see Tom comment? I, think I got Tom, that because Father's Day is coming. And I think Tom has a mustache if I'm not. I, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. So, you know, Tom. <laughs> Kiss me under my mustache. I paid 75 cents and I think I'm selling it for $6.95. Is that what it says? Yep, $6.95. Um, Father's Day is coming, so I'm finding like cool dude stuff. Oh, super chat. Let's see. Hold on. It's Ampers and Unique for sheep treats. Our goats love the berry horse treats. We break them into smaller pieces. So our sheep, we have to be super careful what... They we, do. They can't have treats though. They can't really have treats. They can have these little pellets, but they can only have half a cup a day. 
but, and they're so cute, so you gotta be careful. But that's literally them. like a treat for them because yeah. they love them so much. You can hold it in their hand and they'll scoop it off with their little lips. It's great. Oh, Jack Leslie Jack loves it so Ooh. much because Jack's over. Jack's over here. He's like, Dad, it's tickling my hand. It's tickling. I'm like, well, just they I'm like, don't, don't let go, it. Jack. They're just the sweetest little things. Okay, so uh, Dexter wants us to give a shout out to Lisa Thomas. So hey, Lisa. Hey. All right, so this is a Fiesta Wear mug. Not old. It has the big F, but still cool. Paid 75 cents and I'm selling it for the price of $4.95, I think. Yep, $4.95. That keeps not flipping the prices at me. You gotta. I got it. Did you get it? Yeah. I Leslie, don't think we even Leslie showed this. this. I held it up, but then we talked about something over here and then I set it back down. So it was $15.95. We, we paid, paid $2. Two bucks. And are we painting this? Because it's kind of cool how it is. I just, I never know. Odelia wants to know if Eliza's on her account. Odelia, Eliza, are you on Odelia's account? And aren't you hanging out with Lily? Trish says, do you guys ever take a day of rest? We're amazing. You are two every, are amazingly talented. Tomorrow. Every Sunday, without fail, we go to church. We hang out with the kids. I cook breakfast and, well, more like a brunch and dinner. And we just chill out. I make yeah, sure we only I... only eat two meals on Sunday, but that's because we move very well. I'm little. religious about two things. Church. Going to sacrament meeting and taking a nap on Sunday. <laughs> and uh, my mother-in-law, when my kids were little, said, you know when they get older, it's going to be harder to take a nap. Nope. We were mean. Parents were like, it is nap time. You will be quiet. You don't have to sleep, but you do have to be quiet. And if you and make noise, then you also get to take a nap. And once they hit like teenage status, they start napping again anyway. So it's really only a short time. Okay. It's $4.95. $4.95. And this is from the yard sale. So we're going to say a buck. But yeah, like once they're teenagers, they're back to napping anyway. So whatever. <laughs> Odelia says no. And then... Odelia says, wait, who's on my account then? I don't know who's on your account, Odelia. Maybe it's grandma it downstairs. It could be one of the boys on the one of the iPads. Oh, maybe. Why don't you go do some research, Odelia? All right, so this is cool. This is from the yard sale, right? I oh, can't. Jean's on here. Hey, I Jean. think it's brass. Did Tanea bring you some flowers home? I need to go get the rest of those. Yeah, this is brass, solid brass, and it's it's kind of got like a, a press. Press tin style up on top and then hobnail on the bottom. Very bohemian. It's ten ninety five. You know, yeah. for the low low price, you can get this vintage uh, brass planter. Man, yeah. it had some dirt in it too. Yeah, I would. <laughs> it says made in India. I would have charged more for it, but it got a great deal because this is from the yard sale too. So yeah, let's say we it was literally a buck. paid a probably a buck. I love for the it. Moroccan press here and then the hobnail on the bottom. It's just really cool, and you could shine this up and get it like super awesome. Here, let's show these before we forget about them. Leslie says we are painting the rooster. We are painting it, Leslie. That is She's true. like, wait, wait. It said painted. I need that painted. All right, tell them about these. Oh, did you ask if it was being painted? I did ask. I'm oh, like, yeah, I don't know. it is being painted. Either tonight or we'll get it on Monday's I'll have to video. flatten that out. That tin's a little bit. Well, all right, you guys, these are ginormous. Look how big, like, so I'm selling them all together because they're going to be a pain in the derriere to ship. Um, and I'm going to sell them for $109.95 for four. You want to show them all of them? Um, because people collect these and they're, they're for funerals, but I guess weddings also do them too. But I thought for shipping, if I flip them opposite ways, we have this one big rectangle box. That one's my favorite. This because, one? Yeah, because it's got mint inside oh, of it. Yeah. See that minty rust? Anyways, this these are from the yard sale. And I saw the, one of these on eBay for like a hundred. So I thought four for 199 dollars and here's a little secret. Spend 200 bucks, you get free shipping. So it's you buy keep some... saying 109. They're 109. 199.95. Yeah, but you keep saying 109. Oh. You said it like 199. 199. Five cents less than 200. Um, so if you buy some candy, you get free shipping. So that's where the deal is on those. There you go. Leslie says those are vintage floral baskets. Yeah, but I think the majority of them are from like funerals, but I guess they yeah. also use them at weddings. They put big sprays in them, but they're super, super cool. All right. Did I show this yet? I don't think I did. It's $16.95. We paid three bucks for it. And we love kind of these uh, little finial type decor, architectural style. This is definitely gonna get painted. I paid $2 for it and we're selling it for, I think $16.95 was the same. Yeah, sixteen ninety five. Oh, did you already say that? Yes. I got distracted by the boys. I'm gonna actually go fix the boys are you, are you because Odelia is Odelia is threatening Redrick because I think she found out who's on her account. Oh, what? Leslie says her DI isn't open on Monday, but Centerville is. And the Rave says I used to go to my grandmother's house every summer in Wisconsin, 
At the end of the summer, they had a town event where there was a big cook and they sever. Um, Tom, we will definitely be praying for your wife. She has surgery on Wednesday. Um, let's see. All right, I'm back. Okay. Just, I'm just looking. Oh, served corn out of a barrel of butter. I love it. Okay, we're getting back. So this is a really old photograph. I don't, do you think it's a photograph? Or I said photograph because that's what it looks like to me. It's a portrait. It says Zubik Butte. So that would have been the photographer. Yeah. Um, and I found some more of his work and the, I'm thinking the signature probably belongs to the cowboy in the photo and it's ripped, but it's also professionally framed. So it must've been worth it to somebody to frame it even after it yeah, has got a tear. little tear up here through his signature, but that's, it's framed in the back, which means they had it. They loved it so much. They framed even those ripped and I, the signature is really faint. I think if I took a picture of it and changed some of the. Uh, opacity I could probably read it. it says two misses something or other with something or other and then the cowboy but he's smoking I love his pants with the fringe if you had like a man cave with a cowboy theme this would be super awesome there um I think it says Oh, Jean would like you to skip with those baskets skip with the baskets yeah so this is from the yard sale the metal baskets we and it's $16.95 and we'll say I paid a buck because I don't, like I said, we paid 45 bucks for an entire wagon, which we're not selling the wagon. My dad's like, oh, are you selling that wagon? I'm like, no, we're keeping the wagon. So, you know, we've got two, so you can double barrel skip with don't these. Don't skip. We like got Just for Jean. I'm in my flip flops today. I lost my most favorite pair of flip flops that I bought at, in Hawaii. I have no idea where they're at. I just let's, had them in let's California. Let's clarify. He bought them at Costco in Hawaii, so they might be coming back. It doesn't matter. If you buy them in Hawaii, you still have them in Hawaii. <laughs> it's mother For Mother's Day, I took everybody out and bought every Everybody got at least one new pair of shoes, but I got two. <laughs> but I lost them, and I love, you know, I live in my flip-flops in the summer if I'm not working. If I'm working, I got shoes on, but... All right, so we paid $10 for the set of these, and we're going to sell them for $29.95 for this set, but they're gonna get painted unless somebody wants them the way they are, but I don't really think they're anything special. Don't look at the mirror. But I think if we paint them and either stencil them, what? I was waving the mirror around crazy. I think if we paint them and stencil them, they could be really special. Your turn. Sorry. <laughs> so I, I found this up in Heber at the thrift store up in the mountains. And it reminded me of, now I can't even think of it. Oh, what's that style of furniture? French provincial? No. For Gothic? No, it's like a certain Curly? maker with like the wood. Oh, Jacobian? No, I can't even remember. Burl? No, we used to have a chair like that. It was made by the... Um... It was Jacobian. No. It's the one with the curvy legs. No, no, it's not. I'll remember it later. I actually used to call it Jacobine. But apparently Jacobine. that's not. Apparently Jacobine is not how you say Jacobian. I remember looking over at you and being like, "You mean Jacobian?" Well, we're buying stain, and there's a stain oh, called. Oh, you need to talk about this. No, there's a stain <laughs> called Jacobian, and I was like, "Yeah, we I, let's get that Jacobian stain," and Deb's like, "Jacobian." Okay. You know, whatever. <laughs> so this was fifteen dollars, which means off. we got it for seven fifty. And East Lake. East Lake. Thank you. I knew it was. I was like, it was like right there on the but edge of my brain. But it is more Chippendale than East Lake. But yeah, that's what he meant. But yeah. Oops. Sorry. Bright lights. Trying to show you the whole thing. Sixty-nine is what we're gonna sell it for. Painted. It's probably part of a dresser set. Um, yeah. But it's super cool. It does have a little break on the bottom. Duncan but... Fife. Donna's laughing at the Jacoby. And Amy says, that's how I still say it. I'll never stop. <laughs> Amy Mitchell, that's why we're friends. Amy and I have been friends for a long time. All right. All right I got some more stuff to show over here before I forget. Okay. So I picked... Leslie says she wants to find a mirror out thrifting. Come to Utah. Yeah, okay, these... Are you not finding mirrors in the wild, Leslie? Yeah, we find mirrors. We got... We got mirrors in the basement we need to deal with. We had to be careful. One actually hit Jean once and I felt very bad. So we had to restack them. All right. You're not holding so, your picture frame, right? Oh. There you go. These were a dollar each, we'll say, because they um, came from the $45 bundle. Yeah. And we're selling them for 20, what's the price? $24.95, but we're going to paint them. 
but and we will paint this velvet because it does paint these are nice solid wood frames they're 11 by 14. echo in mexico echo in mexico okay this is maybe the find of Oh yeah, Ivy, you'll have to watch our video to Heber. Do you go to the Christian thrift store in Heber? That's where these all came from. I wasn't sure if that was your honey hole or not. And if it is, oops. Oh, the uh, mirror, the frame set sold. Awesome. All right, so this was part of the I needed fresh eyes because they wanted 30 bucks for it and I really loved it. But then it was half off, so it was $15. And then I picked it up and I'm like, oh, I would have paid 30 because it's omega heavy. So what this is is copper with silver over the top of it. And a lot of the copper has shown through and I'm selling it for $79.95. It is a big, it almost covers up my giant um, coffee table chest, yeah, the entire you. top of it. Let me show you how big it is. And it's heavy. And I love the copper and the turquoise patina. It's amazing. The handles are awesome. I've been holding on to the handles. Jean says she's glad that the mirror didn't take you out. I'm glad too, Jean. And then it's got four feet. And it's got the handles, the feet. It's just, it's awesome. It's, well, and, and it's even It's like, definitely weapons. It's even like engraved up in here. The guy says you couldn't find a bigger tray. I don't think that they make a bigger, like legit, it's the biggest silver tray I've ever seen. And it's mostly copper, so. Jeet <laughs> says I wouldn't want anyone to find me sprawled out on the basement floor. But Zeb did just spray for bugs, so at least spiders wouldn't crawl over your body, Jean. So at least there's that. With the church, we've decided that we're going to make sure there are no, sorry, if you're a bug lover, cover your ears. Old buildings are full of bugs, so we're going to make sure before we even step foot in there that the bug situation has been taken care of. We did that here in a major way. Actually, I didn't see any bugs really Yeah, but when around. you start messing around, yeah, they come true. out. And we, we don't have bug problems Did here. we show that? I don't know if we showed um, that. Yes, we did. I'm moving some stuff over here, so I got some more room. Oh my gosh, Amber says we can hardly give away mirrors and frames at the auction. That's crazy because if you go to like a decor store, you can't touch a mirror for under 100 bucks and they're boring as all get up. All right, my nose is just... Yeah, even even like at Ikea, they're selling all right, for... All right, $1.50, Super expensive. $8.95. Can you really be a proper Southern woman if you don't have this to scoop out your deep fried items? I don't know. Fried chicken? Or... Fried turkey? See what I do is I use... I use that to get the shrimp out of the... Shrimp? Uh, the jambalaya. Oh, super chat. Happy Mother's Day from Sally Bonswell. Thank you, Sally. Thanks. Happy it's, Mother's Day It's not Day Mother's to Day to me, but, you know, thank you. I'm the mother of your children. It's true. Five of them. They have 15-inch heads. He's is that like, big? I don't know. Yes, it is a ginormous. You know, my head's not overly huge, so that might be on you. Your mother told me after I was pregnant with Harrington, all my babies had big heads. I'm like, now you tell me. It's too late now. <laughs> Dip, oh, fried okra. I love Ooh. fried okra. We also love fried zucchini, fried mushrooms, fried Twinkies. Tomorrow we're having chimichangas instead of tacos. Because oh, yeah. we had Cinco de Mayo on Wednesday and we have all this yummy carne asada, but it's a couple days old, so we're going to deep fry it to freshen it up. It's going to be good. And stuffed French toast for the morning. All right, white colander. It's already good how it is. We don't it's, have to do anything to it. Nope. It was two dollars. We're gonna sell it for twelve ninety five. It's slightly rusty, but I would put some um, of that core stuff that you put in there and then plant it. Mm. Not, like is it coconut core? Yeah, I think so. That, that and then plant it in. Debbie says she's gonna be on her way. Oh, she says she can't find that on the website. Okay, why Which, don't you show these and I will look for that. All one. right. So these were also from Heber. And I believe these are just polished pewter, right? They are pewter, and we found three of them. And I wouldn't have bought them, but I got the half off eyes. So they were $10 each, but then half off, they were uh, $5 each. And I don't know where I put the price. It's like gone on a walkabout. Oh, there it is under the last one. Don't they're they're $14.95 each. And they're in amazing condition. You can see how shiny they are. They, they look like they're silver almost. Oh, it's so, it already sold, Ivy. It was $12.95. Let me see if I can get you that good detail there. Oh, we have three. Yeah, these are so pretty. I, and I love it when, when I can find multiples like this because it takes the same amount of time to list one item as it does 
three if they're the same. So I love that I can like really make use of my time yep. and have multiples. All right, these are also yard sale. Are these, are these pillowcases? So these are pillowcases. They're dirty because they went in the wagon. So they need a good like OxyClean and they are that like yellow aged look, but like the dirt on them is itch. stink. <laughs> it's probably the dust, it's not the sting. So those, is that the blue one? Oh, that's no, so that's a single. That one's $6.95. And then the double set here. Little hand embroidery for yeah. you. So we'll say a dollar each because these are from the, again, that, uh, what the heck is this? Hold on. There was one, oh, this one I'm not selling because it has. Oh, it's got some rips yeah, in it. Yeah, but I'm not getting rid of it either because I might do something with it, so. We could frame that, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, look at that. The sifter, we don't have a sifter, Ives. It was a colander. I don't, oh, the metal spoon thing. That's what you couldn't find. All right, I'm gonna look, Ivy. All right, show them this set. This set is, the price is on the, oh, careful. So this is a set? Yeah. Two of these, right? Yeah, those are, that's what, yep. Yeah. What the heck? What in heck? These remind me of going to Grandma Mary's house because she did this on everything she oh, owned. Ivy has sold the large stainless ladle, $8.95. So somebody must have found it. Okay. Oh, these also sold for $12.95. I love the shades of blue on there. So whoever bought these, make sure you use some OxyClean. Um, you know, they're old, the yellowing might not come out, but the dirt should come out because it's just dirty from the wagon. Are we leaving this with the little piggy on it? Oh, heck yes. You don't mess with a stoneware pig with a bandana. Donna says she used to make those as bridal shower gifts. Dude, I didn't get any of those. I would love them. All right, so this is also from the yard sale, so we'll say we paid a buck. I told you we got a lot of stuff for 45 bucks, and we're selling for 12 95 okay. <laughs> Leslie said, good that the pillowcase is sold. She didn't want to, uh, she didn't want to have to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how, oh, we had to get a price on this. I think she said seven? Yes. That was seven dollars, so we pay three fifty, and we're selling for fourteen ninety five. This is electro plated nickel silver, mm -hmm. and I didn't look up the maker on there, but there is a maker listed. And it says Pilgrim quality. Oh, Kathleen says I received my Middle Eastern teapot and German dandy. Love, love, love. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh, you guys. So, Christy, her last day is Friday. And Jean is leaving when her kids get out of school because she is going to be spending time with her kids. So make sure you guys give a big shout out to Christy and Jean because they have been doing awesome um, shipping all your home decor to you. We've got a few Consequently, we're hiring. Consequently, we're hiring. <laughs> we have a few potential hirees. But if you know of anybody in the area that would love to package oddly shaped items with a smile and snacks available, um, send them our way. All right, let's talk about these So birds. this one needs some glue. There, I think the hot glue. This one also had been glued, and I put that in the listing, but I couldn't leave these. So they have, like, these plastic tails. Like, I don't even know. I'm not going to mess with them. I it's don't glittery. But they're glittery, and they're, what's that called? Hummingbirds? No, the metal. It's not metal. They're, like, glass. Oh, they're glass? No, but the, what's the, mercury glass. Mm, there you go. They're mercury glass, and they're, so don't eat them. Um, and they have little clips, and we're gonna glue this back on. I you think have your glue. that they had something else back here at some point because it's discolored a little, like something was over the top of that. I don't know. I'm gonna not try to pull those out. Okay, don't pull those out. But you put the you put the tape on here for the price weirdly on this. Eight ninety five. I didn't put it on there at all. Yeah. You... Oh, it just got stuck to it. <laughs> I put it next to them. Oh. <laughs> so eight ninety five for these. But they have little clips down here that you can like clip in places. Yep, so we'll glue that one back together. We are They're very miss fragile. Them. The good news is that Jean and Christy are my friends, so I'll still get to see them. Yep. Thank goodness for that. And Jean's daughter is still working for us. Yep, we have Tanae. I haven't told Jean this yet, but I'm leaving her on the payroll in case she changes her mind. <laughs> well, I don't she changed her mind, but maybe like one day she's like, hey, I could come for a Saturday. I think Christy's leaving for real. She's getting, she a, she's getting a big girl job that has like benefits and things. So uh, I don't think she's going to be coming back. I'm actually super excited because Christy's next job I feel like is totally like tailor-made for her. So I'm super excited. Christy and I have been best friends for 13 years. 
All right, so the cute little creamer there from the yard sale, one dollar. We're gonna sell for eight ninety five. And this is um, pressed pressed glass. It's not the bird Christmas ornaments are eight ninety five for the pair, the mercury ornaments. Yeah. Um, Patricia says those birds were clip on ornaments for the tree. Yep. So we don't, don't have know. the spoon for this. Did this? Where'd this come from? Is this also I think a yard sale? able to find the link to those birds. So this is a soup tureen. It's McCoy. It would be worth forty dollars if it had the spoon. And I've seen them with a plate, but I'm selling it for nineteen ninety five. And if I were going to display it, I'd just display it like that. It's McCoy. Oh, thank you, Ivy. She listed the creamer. Not too shabby. Patty says, I'd love to work in your store, but the commute from New York is kind of far. Yeah, that's a bit of a drive. Touche. And, it, you know, we, we try to pay competitively for the area, but it's definitely not, like, relocate pay. <laughs> True that. Oh, Kay Kelly Deb says, I just bought them for my Christmas tree. Can't wait to get them. Awesome. Well, Zeb's going to make sure the one that has the clip that's loose is glued back on. The I'll other one it. had the clip glued back on. But I couldn't, The like, other one's already been glued, so when you get it, that's not my be, glue job. Just be so, they're so delicate, but they were so pretty. I had to, I had to buy them. Could not leave them are there. Are these Parmesan shakers? What are these? They look a little big for salt and pepper. They're shakers. We'll just say stainless shakers. Whatever you put in them, I don't, no judgment. You don't sit This is me sugar. over with my slice of pizza and Parmesan. Also true. <laughs> I was thinking cinnamon and sugar. Oh yeah, that would also be I good. I would love that. Although, caution with the sugar side, maybe put some tape on the inside because that's a lot of sugar. Or you could put like the thicker sugar. Oh yeah, you could. Then you uh, just get frustrated. Linda says rubber cement will hold the tails in place. Oh, powdered sugar. I think that that would be too much for powdered sugar. So those mm -hmm. are- Powdered sugar might be good How much are they for the set? We paid, these are from the yard sale too. So we'll say a buck a piece and we're selling for 10, 10 95 for the set. Man, the yard sale just kept on giving and giving. They had some other stuff there, but... Jean, Diane says, Jean, how can you leave? I come down there to see you. Diane, I thought you came down to hopefully see me. <laughs> Jean's got some buddies Jean's that come popular. just to see her. And if you knew Jean, you would know why. Oh, looks like Eliza's back. Oh, uh, Cool Cake says, I just take the cap off when I'm shaking the cheese. <laughs> I love it. That's... That's a pro tip right there. So these are Leonard from Japan. I looked them up. They, they're supposed to be crystal with plated, silver plated. Um, I didn't, I, I'm not like a crystal uh, aficionado, but I looked them up and that's what it said. We're selling for $14.95 a pair and we have two sets. They need cleaned up. They're a little cloudy. Is it a real McCoy? <laughs> it is. It really does say that. So we have two sets. Each set is $14.95 and these were um, from the yard. So we'll say a dollar a piece. So I, I couldn't let these cute little salt and pepper shakers. They're a little cloudy, but I think that they would clean right up. Jean's if secret is Dawn and lemon oil. If you're enjoying the Motherlode thrift haul, drop, drop a like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Where's the thumbs up? For, for Mother's Day. Why do the kids move the thumb again? It's over there, but it's probably not seen. It's way over on the shelf. I think it's you always, can see it. The kids are always moving it. They can see it. All right, so this is also from the thrift, or not the thrift, the yard sale. Um, $14.95 for it. It's a train mold. Come on, ride a train. Choo choo. Sorry, I feel like that song dates me. A little bit. It's okay though, you danced real good to it. Jean, we totally do not blame you. One of the things I told Jean from like the very beginning and what I tell all my employees is, there's no home decor emergency and family is always first. So, yeah. all right, this is turquoise. I don't know the actual maker, but it's beautiful. Um, and I don't know, is it cut or is it pressed? It's pressed, there's a seam. It's really good <laughs> pressed. Tonga. Robin says would work for discounts. The employee discount is 25% and clothes are 35%. Um, $12.95 for this, and we're going to say it was a buck also from the yard sale. I'm telling you, the yard sale was gold. And it was just around the corner, so we don't have to drive that far. Get your mountain strawberry dish to put your mountain <laughs> strawberries in. Your berry dish. Anna says that's a cake pan. It is a cake pan. What did you say it was? Just a mold. A mold. What's a cake mold? You could put chocolate in there. It's just a lot of chocolate. Oh, man, that's a oh, lot of chocolate. turquoise dish sold. I'm not surprised. That one's really pretty. It's really awesome. All right, so this is also from the yard sale. $14.95. Doesn't have a maker. No, it's... this is from up in Hebert. 
Oh, okay. So that was, I think that was like. I have videographic evidence. A dollar fifty. Is. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very much. It was much. three. So it's a dollar fifty, and we're selling it for fourteen ninety five, mm -hmm. and it's like stoneware, but it's not marked on the bottom. But Jean says my new favorite is Dawn Power Wash. That Dawn Power Wash is legit. Okay, you guys, if you have small dogs or some kitties. Do you have some fancy kitties? We've got <laughs> some copper. I think it's just copper plated. Or copper colored. Yeah. $9.95, we don't know. We paid 50 cents each for them and I couldn't leave them. They have little rubber stoppers on the bottom so they don't slide all over the place when your kitty's eating their, what's that fancy food that you open the lid, you know, and it's like the canned food? I don't know. Fancy what, feast! Because when I did have a cat, we didn't feed it. Oh, that. you ate dry food. Okay, well, fan, when they're having their fancy feast and their milk, there you go. Okay, well, we got a candle snuffer it outer. It is Wilton Brian Cool Cakes. It's from 1970, that cake pan. Yes, candle stuffer. It's brass. We will wash it. Came from the yard sale. So we're going to say it was a buck. And I think it says $9.95. Mm. There we go. Odelia wants to know when you had a cat. Uh, Dad had many animals. I grew up with tons of animals in the what house. What was the one cat that you really liked when we were dating? Yeah, saw Her name was Calico, Calico. And she was a Calico cat. <laughs> yeah. Odelia and Redrick are allergic to cats, so we do not have any. Harrington has a big fat cat named Chet. And we had Chet could not eat animals. We had she Calico before we had my Border Collie German Shepherd mix that I named Cookie. Um, and Calico kind of raised Cookie a little bit, and so they were good buddies. If you, I feel like if you introduce a puppy to an adult cat, it's better and they get along. But if you introduce a uh, an adult, adult cat, to, cat to a uh, no, or no, a, dog a, a to kitten a to an adult dog, yeah, they just. So did you know about this? Yes, and I put the picture in. Okay. So this is a Fire King Peach Luster. It'd probably be about 20-ish dollars otherwise. Um, but it does have a couple chips as shown in the pictures, and I'm selling for $12.95. It very seldom do you find the lid. That's where the that's where it is. So I will hey, probably Missy. I'll probably sand this just a little bit. Because it's actually a little hazardous as is right now. It might be a little sharp. So I'll sand this before we ship it out to you and then that'll be nice and smooth. Yep, yep. Jeannie is gonna be home to be the mama that her kids need. And she is an awesome one at that. She's taught me lots about being a mom. All right, so paper mache, guys. This was all over round top, like all over round top. Oh yeah, this we're gonna a, do a video on that soon because I promised. This is a vintage one with back in the day, remember the transfers you put on with popsicle sticks before the IOD sisters came out? That's what this has on it. Um, I plan on painting it, but if you wanna buy it and you don't wanna paint it and you buy it tonight, just email Caitlin and let us know. Otherwise, um, we will be painting this, but I bought it for $3 and we're selling it for $24.95 and it's got a hole in it so you can put like a potted plant. So I promised Kathy, we went to Round Top with Kathy and Sarah, um, I promised Kathy that I would do some experimentation with some things that we saw made out of paper mache, I and I haven't, so watch out for a video coming because it's huge, it's hard to find, you can't buy it anywhere, so I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Alright, so this is one of those top spinny toys, it would have been 20 bucks at the Hebrew thrift store, but it was half off, so we bought it for 10 it's got like um, cowboys and Indians on it, and it says bank. Um, and we're selling for $22.95. It does have a small chip in the plastic and it's kind of dirty. But my dad, like every time he walks by this, he cannot not do this. He has to. I was like, Dad, you bring it. He might have had one when he was a kid. Like, uh, I think that's more 50s. Your dad was a kid in the 30s. Face wife says she remembers this from when she was a kid. Yeah, I would say 50s. This is not 30s. Yeah. But it's metal on the bottom and it's got some plastic parts. I love the twisty metal piece in the middle. And that's why after like 70 years or whatever, it's still spinning. All right, so these have kind of a tiny little quick story about them. I saw them and I went and looked at the pricing and then Jamie saw me looking at them. She's like, ooh, get those, those are good. I'm like, no, they're too much. Cause this one was 10, this one was 15 and this one was 20. Oh, it could be like 50, okay. Yeah. And, or no, this one was, the bottom one was 28. So, but then once we found out half off, you know, at that, that uh, thrift store up in Heber, we're like, yeah, let's do that. So this one is now 16.95 cause we snagged these up. Half off, so We're five. selling them individually. So 22.95 and 
and then this one is $28.95. We're selling this for what the thrift store was originally asking for. We're 95 cents over. They originally wanted $28 for this They're one. so pretty. I love these so much. Love them, love them, love them. All right, so next is this little set of green, green transfer wear. I say probably ironstone, judging by the weight. Um, and it was $3, $1.50. And the little creamer was $1.50, and I'm selling all three for $19.95 because I just thought they looked really cute stacked up. This is actually like a saucer, but the creamer looks cute on it. So $19.95 for the set of three on here, and I'm going to put it down now. Okay, so just a couple little uh, silver... Uh, are these silver? These are pewter. Mm, these they're are, pewter. I don't know. They're, they're not super old. They're mystery metal, but they're good shape. We paid $2 each. And I'm going to sell them for $12.95 for the set. I'm, I'm going to say by the way they're cast that these are pewter. Okay. You heard it from Zeb. All right, Zeb found this. So we're going to say a dollar because it was from the yard sale. It's Le Crusette. It's older Le Crusette because the newer teapots are not all ceramic oh, like yeah, this. I snatched it that does have quick. a chip and we will sand the chip so it's not sharp. They're this is where your tea so leaves go. This is where your tea leaves go. See the chip there? Yeah, and sure. then it's the beautiful um, Caribbean blue that's so popular. And I saw these like $40 to $50, so I'm going to sell for $22.95 because it does have a chip. Are the cake plates glass? Yes, they are. Yep. And I'll probably sand this chip in here too because this is this is another sharp one. I'm going to yeah. want to send that out. But we, we do that a lot. We just fine sandpaper. We do that a lot with glass. So we'll find something that's got a chip, still totally usable, but just that little chip is cosmetic and we'll just sand it down wherever it's sharp so that no one gets cut and 220 grit sandpaper and five minutes of your time and it's good to go for another X amount of years. Well, some of my stuff that I really love will get like a little chip in it and I love it too much to get rid of it. So Zeb always saves it for me. Okay, so this is part of an espresso set. I looked it up. The brand is uh, Vesuviana and if you can find the whole like situation, it's like $100 for the entire espresso set. And I forgot to put the price on, oh, 14, but I'm selling it for $14.95 for the pot, and then this is what goes in the espresso machine. And I actually think even if you did not like, if you couldn't find the espresso set, this would be really cute. I would probably take this off and plant in it because it's just so, so cute, so. We're cuts. at the DI thrift store and I hear Jamie across the aisle because she talks to herself when she thrifts sometimes. What? And she's grabbing these and she's like, I don't know what I need these little tiny baskets for. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're so cute. I got to get them. Who doesn't love little baskets? They're little <laughs> skipping baskets. So I paid a dollar for the set of three and I'm selling them by the set. And one set, one of these has the price on it. Which one is it? I think they're $6.95. Oh. Yeah, yeah $6.95 six a set, and I paid a dollar set. set. So they would be three. so cute as place settings at Easter or on a wreath if you wanted to paint them for a spring I don't even wreath. think it has to be Easter. They, I think if you... I would like you to start skipping quick. Wait, no, I can't skip with these. They're super small. They're too small to skip with, guys. Um, you can't, you, you don't get the good swing on them. Jamie's going to do it. What is that? That's like a, that's like well, a that's trot. that's how you skip with little baskets. That's like a trot. You're like a show horse? What are you doing back there? <laughs> I don't know that you know how to skip. I do know how to skip. I skip just I never knew this about you. She doesn't know how to skip. Okay. I think painted up white, like red, white, and blue for coming up 4th of July here in the U.S. These would be awesome with like little stuff in them. I can't believe you don't like the way I skip. I Ian, wasn't Ian, not. don't you be laughing at me. I wasn't not liking it. I was just like, that's not skipping. <laughs> Okay, you should do baby skips. That was a baby skip. I don't even think I can like reproduce that to show you what you were doing. We're gonna have to rewatch the video. So last week we picked up one of these. It still hasn't sold yet. So if you need two, it's still in the thrift hall. Um, we're gonna call this a dollar because it's from the uh, Ian says sorry because it was from the yard sale and we're selling it for seven ninety five. It's okay, Ian. She can handle it. She's tough. <laughs> Diane is laughing at my pony trot. I know Delia's barely laughing because her video was behind a little. So <laughs> this came from the yard sale, or no. not the yard sale, a thrift store yeah, thrift in store. Park City. I think it was like Heber. $3 or Heber. They're Park close, they're, they're close they're, to each other. They're like right next to each other. I think it was like $3 because it was half off. 
I'm selling for $12.95. The tin is older, but somebody like DIY'd it. They think... painted it, they stained it, they put like this little almost French looking picture and then glued all of those little pieces around it. And it's probably McKinsey because on the bottom it says McKinsey's. Yeah, it's scratched, it's scratched into the metal. scratched into the metal on the bottom. Um, but you know, I can't, when something is really like cutesy crafted, I, I couldn't leave it. It's so cute. And on the top it says like goners. Oh, golfers. Golfers. I almost, so I almost think if it were me, I probably would repaint the red part because red's not my jam, but it's cute as is. And we're not painting it. So $12.95. I would just Vivian says it. I'm a show horse. I do have a long mane, so there's that. <laughs> I, I had it all pretty curled down today. I don't do that very often. And then I went outside because we had an activity with the primary kids. And there's like hurricane force winds. And you know what that does to my hair? It's like, it's like, oh, well, forget it. This was at the yard sale. If you love, love, love mid-century modern, now is your chance. We're going to sell this unpainted for $124.95. If you don't love it at that price and buy it, we're gonna paint it and probably sell it for more. If you don't buy it, it gets the brush. I think it'd be great farmhouse, but all the mid-century people are like, don't paint it, it was worth money as is. And I'm like, listen, Linda, nobody's buying it. So if you love mid-century, I looked this up. The maker is on the back, it's uh, Galliman Cummings. Um, I found dresser sets, like a dresser in the nightstand in like the $700 range. I think that says so. Ballman. Ballman Cummings. So Ballman I put it and, in the listing. Ballman and Cummings. Um, and it's not big, it's short, but that's the way it came. So I figured $124.95 is a good price and it's small enough that we can box it up and ship it to you if you I want mean, to it does, it. it does have some wear, it's been used up on the top there. And it's from the yard sale, so we're gonna say a buck. You know how you these always go? It. No one buys them unpainted and Cubby we says, always paint them. It gets the brush. Donna says I'd paint that in, uh, in a heartbeat. And that old Anner says, I love MCM. You know, mid-century modern does look really cool painted up, just saying. It does. And I think I could totally make that look farmhouse. We have another piece of painted furniture that you can check under the furniture tab on our website at jrvhome.com. It's also going to get the brush if you don't buy it. People always tell me it's worth more painted, but then nobody ever buys it. Or they want it for 50 bucks. So I'm like, mm. If you're at a random yard sale and you find... A, uh, Reader's Digest book and it's got these good covers on them get them every time because it's got for starters it's got the good binding and then this color like you can't sometimes you, they're getting rarer and rarer like this is the good style and it's also got the silver on the the, the what do you call that silver? Heavy says put that on the shirt paint yeah. it or it gets the brush it's from a not funny movie that I've actually not seen, but my my friend quotes it all the time, and I'm not going any further than that. All right, back to books. But and the other thing, here's the other thing about that. If you guys are content creators like us, if you want to get a lot of views, now you got to get ready for shade and hate. Oh man, they're gonna hate on you. Hate mid century, and then the post the video, and then they will come out and for blood. The mid century furniture and crowd is probably the most dangerous. That they will get you. <laughs> and I'm not afraid. So I was like, I want to paint it. But I also like money. So if somebody wants to buy it as is, I'm going to give it a week. Okay, I also have this Wright Brothers book. And man, I some of these books, Six these are from the yard days. sale. They got great coloring. Look at this inside the, the cover here. Actually, this is my favorite binding. Kim from Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling. Look at the binding on that. That one's beautiful. This is a, this is a children's book. But still, very good. Self-teacher Spanish, if you want to know the Espanol. I got this because I liked the color. It's like a cloth fabric. Um, what is Second that called? Second World War by Winston Churchill, The Gathering Storm. Yep, and this one I bought. Check out the pages on this. Oh, welcome, Helen Mora, to Channel Membership. You can see they're kind of rough. They're not like a clean cut. Oh, I love those. And just the gold on the black with the red, I was like, oh, yep. And it's good, it's good content. Like this is a book that's required reading in a lot of colleges. So Laura says, I got my crock and mug. Thanks, I had a heck of a time getting out of the box. The gals at the shop are legit packers. All right. Uh, Amper said, Looks my back. purple dresser video was an MCM. I did get some grief at the market, but more people love the purple. 
<laughs> so we love old books. I I buy them anytime that I can. These are the ones I'm willing to part with, but I'm getting a very large collection of books over 100 years old. Because one day, people are going to be like, oh, what was what, what are those called? Because people just read everything electronically, so I want to yep. preserve them. Well, and I'm... Thanks for joining. Helen says she's been uh, uh, watching a long time, so she thought it was time to join. Make well, sure you, you check Helen. out Community. We should have some printables coming up pretty soon and well, some channel we, member videos. She would still, April, I leave April a month back in case you join late or miss it. So, so like if you join in May, you still have access to April. If you joined in February, you still had access to January's printables. So go check out We're Community tab. The, is that everything? This is the last thing. And I don't even remember how much it was. I think it was... I think it was ten dollars, and I was like, "Ah, that's kind of high," bucks. but half off. half off it was five, and we're—I'm gonna assume you got this on the paint list. Yes, and it already sold. Twenty-two ninety-five. We're gonna be painting it. Don't know that we'll get to it tonight, so we've been following up on Mondays because people want to see projects finished. And during a live video, we don't always have time to get to all the projects. So we've been following up on Monday's videos and painting things and they've been- Oh yeah, it's already 9.30. They've been pretty popular. We, have, we had a huge thrift haul, the mother Phew. load for Mother's Day thrift mother haul. Load. All right, so normally I paint, but I think tonight because tomorrow's Mother's Day and I'm tired and we gotta pack well, all this stuff up. And back east, it's it's like, what is it, 11.30 there? Yeah, and we had to, <laughs> we, the sheep have been kicking our bum. Well, so they're like, to, like they're finish. like brand new little babies, and then we found out you gotta burp them because if they don't eat right, they get all bloated and it can actually kill them. So I've been going out there checking them, burping them. Yeah, so we gotta them. go burp the sheep, <laughs> and then we gotta put all the stuff up for Mother's Day. So we're gonna call it a night, I think. But tomorrow, um, the video will either go up late tomorrow or on Tuesday. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Monday. <laughs> Monday or Tuesday, while we'll the video is showing all of these items getting painted as well as the sheep and us going up to Bountiful to go pick up my hut, my buffet. So lots of great stuff um, coming up on that video. If you haven't watched the videos from this last week, I would, especially Thursday's video. It is our shopping video, but also shows the new church that we just put an offer on. So it's a good one. Yep. Inside the church is what we show you, which... You know, it's pretty interesting. It's so people have been living in there a long time, and it's got all their stuff and things in there, and their all their creature comforts, and you know, a lot of that is gonna go away when we get it because a they're gonna move all their stuff out, and b we're gonna try to make that chapel. We're gonna try to bring that back and open all that back up. We're gonna have a stage so we can perform. <laughs> I don't know. We're about gonna that. pop it. We'll give a sermon. I don't Let know me about tell that. you about the junk. The parable of the junk. There's got to be parables in there somewhere. I don't somewhere. think I'm going to be doing sermons on junk, but I will put like a, maybe like some kitchen stuff up there or something. All right, guys. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to all the mamas of all kinds out there. Be sure to give happy this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, I didn't realize we had gone for so long. So much stuff tonight. See you guys.